up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Zero Hour. Today we're going to be doing a before and after comparison of the gun sounds, then looking at some of the new attachments along with playing with some of the new weapons and discussing my thoughts. I just want everybody to keep in mind that everything that I show you here today is still a work in progress and nothing is final. So let's go ahead and get into it. Be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, ding the bell so you can always stay up to date on my content and let's get into it.
And that was the before and after gun sounds. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. I honestly think that some of the gun sounds sounded better, but I feel like the pistol sound sounded a lot weaker, at least just in my opinion. But you let me know what you think down below. I think some guns sounded better, some didn't sound as good, but you tell me. Now we're gonna move on to some attachments and accessories for the guns. So basically what they added here is two new tabs called pads and foregrips. Pads is a bit confusing to me because I think it's just like adding like a, a line or a wire, the laser pointer. I'm not entirely sure what this actually is. If somebody would like to explain it to me, like the dad tried to explain it to me, but I couldn't quite grasp what the hell he was talking about. But this is getting added into the game. And when I click on it, it doesn't seem to add anything as far as I can tell. Remember there used to be like an animation where it actually showed like a line going across the gun, but I don't see anything because I keep clicking on it. But uh, yeah. So we go over to foregrips and as far as I can tell, the only one that actually has foregrips is the M4, the Scar, and the new weapon that's coming into the game, the Valkyrie. We'll talk about that weapon later. But the M4 gets two foregrips. One that goes underneath the gun and one that's all to the side, like Escape from Tarkov style. Looking at the size, it seems like they added in a couple, but I'm not entirely sure which ones are different. Looks like they only added in like one new sight, or at least one that I don't think I've seen before. So let's take a look at that. I kind of want to do a comparison to see if the foregrips actually do anything. So let's look at that really quick. So this is me without a foregrip. This is me with a foregrip. I think it controls a little better. This is me with the side grip. I don't know, like, I don't know if the grips actually give more stability. I feel like it's about the same. I think it maybe gives it like a slight stability boost, but that's about it. And that's pretty much it for the accessories, so it's relatively small. Let's go ahead and talk about the new stuff, the new weapons here. So there are four new weapons that are all featured on this new locker that's right here. The first one we got is the sawed off shotgun. The sawed off shotgun is obviously a fun weapon to play around with. It is only going to be featured with the terrorist in multiplayer, so the counter terrorists aren't going to have this weapon. But in co-op, you can obviously use every weapon to your advantage. Now, like I said, it's a very fun weapon, but it obviously does have its drawbacks because it only has two shots before you have to reload again. It does fire consecutively, but you have to be within range to actually hit him, either close up or about medium range. But that could be an issue because if you do miss him, then you have to back off and reload. Remember, you only got two shots. But at least the majority of the maps that you're playing in are all close quarters so this actually makes the weapon more effective than it would be in a long range map. This is more of like a guerrilla weapon where you basically take pot shots and then run off type of deal like it's not meant to like hold down an area which I guess makes it great for terrorists so. At the timing of this recording you are now able to fire it consecutively but I kind of would like them to add another feature to the sawed off where you can use both of the barrels to fire them at the same time like there should be like a second button where you could just fire both shots to use like the ultimate damage to try and kill someone up close and the drawback to that should be massive recoil because you're firing two shotgun shells at the same time and then you have to like refill it because not only can you fire it consecutively but you could actually fire both shots at the same time if you have like your fingers both on the triggers just a thought if the devs are listening so yeah i think the sawed off shotgun is a fun weapon but it's definitely not my weapon of choice the next weapon that's on the list here is the as val or as the game calls it the valkyrie this is another weapon that's going to be featured on the terrorist side only in multiplayer, but obviously in co-op you can still use it, along with any other weapon. But yeah, this is probably one of the better weapons that's being added to the terrorist side. I only have like two issues with it. The first problem that I have with it is that it just only has 20 rounds instead of like 30, you know? I'm someone who definitely prefers the 30 to the 20 rounds, because those 10 extra bullets could definitely mean a lot, especially in a pinch. And it would also save me from having to reload sooner rather than later. One issue that I have with the gun, not necessarily having to do with like the gameplay, but just how the gun actually works with itself. I felt like it actually shot a lot slower than a real AS Val would actually shoot. Like to put a comparison, here's a comparison between Cersei Sandstorm and Zero Hours AS Vals. And you'll see that Insurgency Sandstorms fires slightly faster than Zero Hours, but it might just be in the margin of error. Another thing that I kind of dislike about this version of the Val is that I feel like it's a bit too loud. Like, because I remember the Val being like ridiculously quiet. Because I think the barrel is built for it to be quiet, right? So why does it sound like it's so loud? But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good weapon, don't get me wrong. But it's definitely not my first choice. I'd probably have it as my second choice if I could have choose this other gun that I like. My favorite weapon so far out of the bunch, because it holds a ridiculous amount of ammo at 64 bullets per mag is the PP-19 Bison.
gigantic freaking mag this thing has. I might actually be able to finish a bunch of missions by myself just with this weapon. This is also a weapon that's going to go to the terrorist side. And I think it's great because you could definitely hold down a hallway with the amount of ammo that's in this freaking thing. And I could definitely conserve ammo if I go semi the entire time. So yeah, I really like this weapon. Out of all of them, I like this one the most. So yeah, moving on to the last weapon here, we've got the 5.7. One thing that I noticed about this gun when I was playing with it is that it fires ridiculously slow. And I think that's because they haven't fixed it just yet. Like, I'm rapid tapping this thing on my freaking mouse and it's not firing fast enough. At the time of this recording, it's like, it feels so sluggish. Somebody forgot to freaking grease the goddamn trigger, so it feels like I'm pulling like a rusty button or something. It's not firing as fast. But I mean, it's definitely a decent looking gun. And when I'm able to actually shoot it, I, you know, get my targets off. This is a weapon that's gonna be added to the counter terrorist side. It's the only weapon that's gonna be added to the good guy side. While everything else is gonna be going towards the terrorist side in multiplayer. So, I mean, it's kind of unfair, but at the same time, the terrorist really didn't have that many guns to begin with so it kind of balances it out i guess pretty cool and yeah that's pretty much it for uh the guns here let's go ahead and get into some honorable mentions here so the first one that we're going to talk about really quick is the smoke grenade it's a brand new grenade that's getting added into the counter terrorist side i believe it's obviously something that's going to work great in multiplayer but i realized that in the co-op it's not as effective because the ai just freaking laser beams you through the goddamn smoke so don't even bother unless they fix it i do feel like it doesn't last very long but it does cover up quite a bit of the area they should extend the time for that a little bit another thing to mention is that there are now certain lights that you can actually shoot out not every light seems to be shoot outable but a majority of them inside the map tend to be shoot outable that makes any sense i only had a couple of issues with a couple of lights that were like outside the map i wouldn't shoot out which is like damn it my immersion but then again the people who are building their infrastructure in bangladesh would probably be really pissed if they heard that their police force was actually shooting out their lights like what the f bro as if it wasn't dark enough but anyways the last thing that i want to mention is that there is what i like to call tame gore where if you shoot someone it'll create like a bullet hole in them which i mean it's pretty cool definitely gives the game a little more immersion but you're not gonna see like heads lopping off or legs flinging off or anything like that at least not at the moment i actually talked with one of the developer and he said that dismemberment is something that they plan to add at some point when they can get it done realistically yeah i mean i like gore but gore is not something that's easily done in like a day you know i don't expect these guys to have gore done anytime soon in my opinion because i feel like they would need to redo a lot of stuff but that's just me what are your thoughts everything that i should off here is just only like a piece of what's going to be coming with operation magna there's still the two big maps that are going to be coming and a bunch of unseen features and attachments that we have yet to see so look forward for that and that's where i'm going to end it if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like zero hour then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below and for someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell you never know you might find something they like on the channel stick around if you would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month or click on that join button that's underneath the video any donation will help the channel grow thank you and with that i'll be said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye